Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in a new episode of Math Modding. This is going to be a very short tutorial about how you can place your items, like for instance this pick, um, into the world as a block. And, well, I know you can drop it like this and it just floats there, but what if you could place it on the floor? And that's what I'm going to show you uh, in this episode. Um, basically, all of these items and a, a few more uh, are placeable in the world. Uh, they have some strange effects, some of them, um, but we'll cover that soon. So what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, show you how to convert this into a block so you can place it. For instance, to uh, um, decorate your, your, your tool shop if you're building one or a gun shop. So mm, let's get into the XMLs. It's really easy and the reason why I'm showing you guys this is I'm finishing up this item pack um, for a very good friend of mine and as I was finishing it up I, I thought why why not show you guys so I'm just gonna alt tab into uh, my XML files I'm in the blocks XML um, the recipes XML as well so we can actually craft them later on and I've opened up the items XML as well just for reference uh, since we're using the items and um, yeah we need the proper names for that and so on so what we're going to do is basically I've made this entire list so a shovel display, a hoe display, a hammer display um, and just for uh, the purpose of showing you guys I'm going to make a new one well, as you can see here I noted a comment that this one shrinks as soon as you place it so if you place a pistol as a block you will have a very tiny pistol so that is something to keep in mind um, water bottle same thing pickaxe steel it shrinks uh, same as with the shovel let's see the hose shrinks uh, shovel yep yeah, it shrinks sledgehammer it shrinks but I'm gonna show you guys that now the one item I have to add to my pack to make it complete or at least complete for for now is the hunting rifle so I'm going to into the items XML I'm just gonna look for hunting rifle and there it is and this is the actual name as you can see there's a capital R there it's very important uh, for the recipe later on um, and here it says the mesh file so this is what the item looks for looks like when um, it's in the world not actually in your uh, in the um, in your menu because that is what it looks like if you give it a custom I uh, icon this is what it looks like in the world so I'm gonna copy this and go into my blocks uh, um, XML and just paste it here I'm, I'm gonna use it later on but so just so we have it now the easiest way to do this without having the item pick upable is just copy this and I'm gonna show you what it is because you can't copy anything what this is is a new block new item ID so this is gonna be 14 and I'm gonna call this the uh, hunting rifle display now what we want it to look like in the actual menu itself is the hunting rifle no capital H but with a capital R so this name needs to be exactly the same as the item name otherwise the game can't find it um, the material is made of um, I just used metal thin uh, you can put in here whatever ever you like um, and for instance stone or uh, glass if you're j doing the glass jars um, I basically put metal thin everywhere um, just because I'm lazy now how do we make this item look like a block if you put um, in here next to the shape so tell the game what it looks like it needs to take the model entity or the way it looks it should be taken from the uh, the model line now in this model line you can uh, copy the thing you want to um, make a block out of so for instance the hunting rifle and this specifies in the folder items weapons ranged hunting rifle hunting rifle prefab um, this is what this block is going to look like now this model offset you can use to specify um, if the block needs to be underground when you place it halfway up halfway to the left halfway to the right and we're going to play with that um, I've got my game running but I'm going to close it down just so we can launch a new game and see what this exactly does so um, the, bl the block is in now and uh, this is all you need to do only thing is you can't pick it up now if you want something to be pick upable you add this line 
property name can pick up value is true. Um, because you're picking up a block, and if you specify you can pick it up, you will pick up the hunting rifle display. Now, because you're actually um, trying to pick up the actual item and not the block itself, you have to give it a target. So in this case, I made a gas can you can place on the ground. Um, yes, you can pick it up, but when you pick it up, you do not pick up the display, but you pick up the actual gas can item. Um, this works for items, uh, tools, but not really for um, for guns because guns consist of parts and you're not picking up the special uh, the individual parts but the actual gun and the game has problems with um, determining the quality of the gun if you do it like this so all my guns will not be pick upable but if you do uh, for instance uh, a hoe you can pick it up um, with true and you will pick up a hoe now if you do this it will generate a random quality item so even though in my recipe I'm using a hoe and it might be purple um, well, a bad example for a hoe because they're always yellow, but um, well, take a shovel. If, uh, if I use a purple shovel and I place it as a block and I pick it up again, it might turn faulty. Uh, it might be, still be purple, but it's a random chance of getting a quality. So this is not meant to actually be used as a way to uh, um, store your items, but it could be a cheaty way of, of turning a faulty um, shovel into a purple shovel but I, this is mainly for decorating purposes and yeah i just wanted to make pick upable and some items i don't want to make pick upable it's the choice is yours so we've added the hunting rifle display i'm going to save this file I'm going into my recipes file and now we need to add a recipe for it and the easiest way to do that is um what I've done is, in alpha 11, there was a torch wall holder. Now, that, that's the bracket you put on the wall. You can place a torch in. Um, I've re returned that torch wall holder to the recipe files. It was taken out by the fun pimp, so I've put it back in. Uh, the block is still in, so you can still make a recipe for it and use it. Now, what I made the recipe to do is just have a short iron pipe on a wooden plank, um, and that turns into a wall holder. You can change this around... Um, any way you like. Uh, I just thought this makes made sense. Now, every other recipe for placeable items in here is just, in this case, if I want to make a hunting knife display, it's the actual item, the hunting knife, on top of a torch wall holder. Um, same with the pickaxe, pickaxe on a wall holder. So, the same we're going to do here. This is going to be the hunting rifle display. Um, make sure you capitalize it right, so check your block file. It's a capital H for me, um, capital R and a capital D. Same here. Now, what we need to do here is just specify it's the hunting rifle we want to place on top of the torch ball holder. Now, if you're not sure which capitals to use here, just look up. If you're in, um, well, just go to the items file and look how uh, what it says here and use this actual name. So you can either copy paste it or just remember it and paste it and um, type it in. I'm going to save this file as well. So now both the block and the recipe file are saved. We go into our game and we'll just have to hope it works. So I'm just gonna make a new game and call it test items. Uh, should be on, let's see, uh, no spawning. And I want cheats on because I want to spawn so stuff in. Where is it? There it is. So yeah, let's just fire it up. This always takes a little time on my computer, especially while I'm recording. So, uh, oh, there we go. So, um, well, we might as well take a little space here. Um, so what I need is some planks, some pipes, and this is going to turn into the actual wall holder. So now we've got a wall holder. Um, we also need a hunting rifle. Oh, as you can see, a hunting rifle display is already in. But I'm taking a hunting rifle, I'm taking the wall holder, placing it at top, it turns into the hunting rifle display. I craft it no quality it's just a hunting rifle display and i place it on the ground so now you've got an actual block of the hunting rifle um, it moves a little as you look at it 
so don't get seasick while looking at it. But yeah, that's the way it works. So now you've got an item and uh, it's placed in the world. Now, what else can we do? We did the pickaxe. Pickaxe display. This one doesn't float around, so that's good. So it's just a gun that's a little bit dodgy. Um, we should be f uh, able to fix that if we place the... Um, if we re redo the, the offset, like I said. Uh, let's see, fire axe. Made a fire axe as well. There it is, fire axe. Uh, it's a little bit covered in the ground, that's because of the... Well, as you can see, you can pick it up and it's uh, a random quality. Again, we make a, a wall holder. We've got a new fire axe display and we can place it on the ground again. You can also place some... Oh, as you can see, it's the full item. So, over here. Um, they do have a little bit of a... a nasty habit of not being pick upable if you place him um, not directly onto something or next to something so if I place this next to it or below it and let's see we, d we still don't get the the highlight box so if I put a block next to it and below it come on it's not working well, as you can see, it's a little bit dodgy. Oh, there you go. So, we actually have to cover it and you get the pickup display. So, it's a little bit dodgy with the pickup, but it's it's doable. Um, you have to look at it just right. So, I can pick up the, the pickaxe. As you can see, they're uh, um, random, random qualities. Um, any other cool stuff we can show you guys? Uh, oh, the shrinking. Um, for instance, the water bottles. This is my water bottle display. Now, as you can see, it, it looks quite quite okay if I do it like this. Let's place it up right. So that's my water bottle. If I place it right now, looks what look what happened. Oh, I can't even. Pl oh, there you go. It shrinks. So it's cool table decoration. Um, but it's not the actual size. Uh, that's a little bit dodgy. Um, nothing really I can do about that right now. If I uh, come up with something, I'll let you know. Uh, steel pickaxe. As you can see, right size when I want to place it, but when I do, it goes miniature. So this is more of decoration into your world. Um, and let's try to fix that gun. So I'm going to quit out of the game again. I'm going to my blocks XML hunting rifle display. I want it to be fixed on let's say uh, This is XYZ again, just like the multi dim block um, I want it to be One tenth of a block up, but I need it. I want it to be fixed like that. So I'm gonna save this Well, let's just do it right um, Away, let's see if we can do it one block up. So save Nope, oh, wrong one Games, seven days to die, start it up again. Uh, let's continue that game. I've done some other, some other testing, as you can see. <laughs> well, the game is loading, it just takes a little time, as I explained before so here we go again and now it's one block up and it's in a fixed position so that's good so with that you can fix it into position well, it's still just a little bit now it's fixed so this way uh, is a good way to fix it in position uh, if you do the, the 0 0.1 as I intended to do it will just be slightly off the ground but still fixed in position I, I still have the feeling it's moving a little bit yeah it does so, yeah, with the guns, it's a little bit uh, dodgy. Um, all the other things don't move that much or at all. Um, what can I show you? Wrench display. This one doesn't shrink. So, there you go, wrench display. Now, as you can see, I can pick it up if I look at it like this. I can't pick it up. Uh, it's just, a, like I said, it's a bit dodgy. If you want, have trouble, just place a block behind it and you get an instant hitbox on picking it up. Um, it's that's a good way of, of doing it. Um, 
if you if you guys have a fix for that let me know and I'll I'm eager to learn as well so yeah um, that's about it you've seen how to do it you've seen how it what it looks like um, if you like to click that like button and um, subscribe for more modding uh, I am a little bit slow on l releasing the modding videos that's because I just can't figure out new mods every day uh, I wish I could but yeah it's just doesn't work like that so as soon as I have a new mod I will show you guys and um, the yeah just keep keep, uh, keep a careful eye on my channel and um, yeah we'll keep each other informed so thank you for watching uh, leave a like and uh, see you in the next episode thanks for watching bye